This clip will cover the validation of a vegetation biophysical property, the leaf area index, or LAI. LAI is the surface of leaf area per ground area, and it is an important variable for ecosystem modeling. But it can also be used in precision farming or precision forestry to describe the canopy status of vegetation. The estimation of LAI from space is often based on surface reflectance data, but involves additional steps, so that in total it is more complicated. This makes it necessary to have good validation procedures in place to make sure the LAI satellite product has a good quality. Obviously, the best way to measure the area of all the leaves of a patch of vegetation is to harvest them and directly measure the leaves. This can be done with a leaf area meter. This approach is in fact the gold standard for LAI. However, it becomes problematic when larger areas need to be scanned or when the vegetation cannot be harvested as is the case in trees. That is why most ground-based validation instruments for LAI are also optical sensors that make indirect measurements. Similar to field spectrometers, these instruments have a limited radius over which they can take measurements. That is why repeated measurements have to be taken to cover an area. In the context of LAI validation, the concept of the Elementary Sampling Unit, or ESU, was introduced to describe an area over which LAI is assumed more or less constant. The size of an ESU is determined by the pixel size of the reference map that will be generated based on the ground measurements. In the image, you can see an ESU, it is the black box. The circles represent the footprints of an LAI 2000 instrument. Basically, each measurement taken will see the area in a circle. Averaging measurements over all these single positions will give the LAI that is representative for the ESU. Later in the validation process, this will be one sample to base the validation on. Of course, a few single samples are not enough to make up a validation dataset. That is why in the next step a local LAI reference map will be produced. This map is based on decametric resolution data from for example Sentinel-2 data and is calibrated with the single ESUs that are distributed over this area. In a global context, this local LAI reference map is then one among 50 to 100 sites. This number of sites is necessary to cover different biomes and vegetation structures. All these sites together can be used to validate hectometric scale LAI products, like the Copernicus LAI layer. All these procedures are described in the Global LAI Product Validation Good Practices. This guideline was compiled by a range of experts in the field of LAI. There are other satellite products, like surface temperature and above-ground biomass, for which guidelines have been made. But not all land products have protocols yet. This is work in progress. In this clip we showed best practices to collect validation data for LAI data products. This serves as an example for the validation of other remote sensing derived products.